All right, good day, folks. Southwest Adventure. Today, me and my boy Caleb, we are on another adventure today. All right. So, Okay, yesterday I was walking close to the shoreline and um, along my scenic village of Ikakas and I came across this rare plum-like fruit. I picked two and I was tempted to eat it because it smelled good and it looks edible. But I decided to take it home and do a research on it and it turned out to be that of the tallow plum. Yeah? Um, it goes by the scientific name Zemania. Americana. It closely resembles our local hog plum, but it's different. Well, actually, the good news is that the fruit is edible, raw or cooked. It is high in vitamin C. The leaves and the twigs can be used to treat fever, colds, and as a laxative and an eye lotion. In Tanzania and Africa, the Sandawi bushmen rely on this fruit as a staple diet all right so let's 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 try this fruit i'm gonna pick it it's not too bad maybe a little slightly acidic but not too bad all right folks so there we have it Tallow plum. Okay, so we are here at the seafront now. And what we have here is um something that we all call Guglu. And um actually the correct name for this is sea coconut. I don't know, um it's also known as um coco de mer and African sea coconut. I don't know if it came all the way from Africa because we it's quite possible because um from Africa the North Equatorial Current joins with the Guyana currents and possible that it could come down the Columbus Channel onto this point because we are at Punta de la Arena in Icacos. Actually this um very sea coconut we, we purchase this medicine in the pharmacy, you know. I think it's called African sea coconut. Actually, it clears the lungs, it re removes phlegm, and it gives vital energy. Yeah, it's known as a Chinese medicine as well. Um, so we are no stranger to this. However, um, it's not grown in our part, but maybe it came here along the, the sea route. Alright, what we have here is um, what we call a mole crab. It's actually the skeletal remains of the mole crab. And um, I'm kind of wondering whether this um, sagasum seaweed that is deposited along the shoreline here would have choked them because they usually live in the sun and they would have died i don't know that, that's just my um my observation you know because i'm seeing a lot of them embedded along the um, shoreline here and um for those of you all who would remember this is called a donkey eye yeah maybe it looks similar to the eye of a donkey 
But I just found this one on the beach here. And um, I could recall we us rubbing this against the concrete. And then you're touching someone with it and it burns. So very interesting, eh? very, very interesting. 